Mr. Sniffer and the Halloween Sweets. It was Halloween. Hazy, Maisie and George dressed up as a dragon, a ghost and a vampire and went knocking on people's doors in the forest. Hazy, Maisie and George were very pleased because Rachel had just given them lots of lollipops. Next they knocked at Mr. Sniffer's door. Tap, tap, tap. Trick or treat, cried Hazy. Give us some sweets, said Maisie, or we will be very naughty, said George. Mr. Sniffer pretended to be really scared and gave them each a strawberry marshmallow. Taste these, he said. They're much nicer than lollipops. But their little vampire made a face. Rachel gave us lots of lollipops. Mr. Sniffer thought for a moment. The little vampire was a bit cheeky, but it was not Halloween every day. He opened the left drawer of his dresser and took out all the strawberry marshmallows. Mr. Sniffer divided the sweets into three little bags. Here you are, you naughty nippers. Take the lot and be off with you, he said, smiling. That evening, everyone went to Bert's house for a Halloween party. They danced and had a great time. Hazy, Maisie and George spent the whole evening making scary noises like Ooh. They got so tired that they fell fast asleep on the sofa. Mr Sniffer was the first one to go home. Can you guess why? Poor Mr Sniffer. He could not stop yawning. Ugh. He hurried off to get some sleep. But the next morning, he woke up still feeling tired. He felt as if he'd been up all night. So he stayed in bed a little bit longer. Then someone shouted outside and he woke with a start. He got up muttering, looked everywhere for the belt to his dressing gown. Where on earth was it? Suddenly, he felt a draught at his feet. He looked up and got a surprise. Strange, very strange, he murmured. Can you guess what was strange? That is right. His door was wide open. Had someone come in during the night? Suddenly, Hazy, Maisie and George arrived, all excited. Mr Sniffer, said Maisie, a thief got into Bert's house. He stole all my sweeties, shouted George. And mine, whined Hazy. Now, now, children, calm down, said Mr Sniffer. Then suddenly, he caught sight of Bert out on the road. He stared at him long and hard. Can you guess why? Bert was busy licking a lollipop. He stole our sweeties, yelled Hazy, running over to Bert. He's a thief! Bert stammered. Me? A, a thief? Never. I found this lollipop on the ground on my way to your house, Mr Sniffer. He pulled more lollipops out of his pockets and tossed them on the grass. Along with these, and these, and these... Mr. Sniffer scratched his chin. Strange, very strange, he murmured. Why did the thief throw the lollipops away? Can you guess why? Maybe the thief did not like them, said Hazy. Maybe he only likes strawberry marshmallows like you, Mr. Sniffer, said George. Yes, maybe, said Mr. Sniffer thoughtfully. Then he asked Bert. Can you show me exactly where you found the lollipops? Bert pointed at the foot of a tree. Mr Sniffer suddenly felt very uncomfortable. Can you guess why? There on the ground by the tree was his belt, right where Bert had found the lollipops. Why did the thief leave my belt here? wondered Mr Sniffer. Bert guessed. Someone wants us to think that you are the thief, Mr Sniffer. That's horrible. He was outraged. On the way home, Mr Sniffer saw some huge footprints. Only he and Bert had such big feet. Bert, can I see the soles of your shoes, please? asked Mr Sniffer. Bert's soles were smooth. Then Mr Sniffer looked at his own soles. He got a shock. 
Can you guess why? Mr. Sniffer's soles had round shapes on them, just like the footprints on the road. Mr. Sniffer went home feeling confused. He was sorry he had given away all his sweets because at that moment he would have loved a strawberry marshmallow. Maybe there was still one left. He opened the drawer of the dresser and his eyes nearly popped out of his head. Can you guess why? The drawer was full of strawberry marshmallows. But how had they got there? Mr. Sniffer sat down on his chair and thought and thought. There was the open door, the lollipops the thief did not like, his belt at the foot of the tree, his footprints on the path, the strawberry marshmallows that had come back as if by magic. How can it be? Mr. Sniffer stammered. It looks like the thief is... is... Can you guess who it is? Then Mr. Sniffer understood. I've got it! He shouted. Everyone in the forest came running over. Have you found the thief? asked Hazy. I'm the thief, said Mr. Sniffer excitedly. It's because I sleepwalk. I get up at night and I walk around when I'm asleep. I must have gone to get my sweets from Bert's house without waking up. That's how they got back here. Three shrill little voices cried, But, but you, you gave, gave them to us. us. I am sorry, said Mr. Sniffer. Here, take all you want. The End